Okay, we followed the lift cylinder hose all the way back to this point right here. This is the fitting going back into the hydraulic pump. Um, we're gonna put the T-fitting so it splices our scale into the hydraulic circuit. Uh, so we're gonna put a T there and then an adapter hose to get it back into the, uh, under the floorboard of this truck. So the pressure transducer will be out of harm's way and hopefully the cable will also. Um, so you just go in and find the lift circuit, go to the bottom of the lift uh, cylinder, chase the hose back and try and get it to a point like we just doing right down here. You need to make sure that as you do this and you install your pressure transducer that you bleed all of the line to make sure you get all of the air because the air is compressible the oil is not will give you fluctuating readings if you do not bleed this air before or the, this line to get all the air out of it before the fitting is tightened up. And here we're just trying to make sure that we keep the uh, pressure transducer and the cable out of harm's way so the technician is looking for the best place to route it so he can cable tie it to existing hoses and lines. Okay, here we show the spare cable for the pressure transducer tied up nicely and neatly to uh, things to keep it out of harm's way. Follows around and goes right back to the pressure transducer, which we have it tied up to a hose on the transmission. Um, runs up through the floorboard, comes out along the uh, ROPS, the rollover protection post in the dashboard, and it's going to come up until we get it onto the indicator at the top, which we're getting ready to install now. Okay, now is what uh, the tech is looking for is a good 12 volt power source for the indicator. Um, one option is going directly to the battery, which is generally uh, the best option to do, but make sure that it does have a fusible link if you're going directly to the battery or it has to have some fusible link somewhere in the power system. Push and hold the power and the hold button in until you see the word cow. You know, we're gonna enter the capacity of the truck, lift truck. It's already set at 5,000. This is a 5,000 pound truck. But if you wanna move around, you hit the select button, the cursor over, and then you'd hit the add button to go up from one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And then when you're ready to uh, select that, touch the hold button. Now I'm gonna do a zero with nothing on the forks. I'm gonna go up to one. So 
slowly down to number two, touch the hold button. Now it's time to enter the amount of our test weight. So hit the select to move the cursor, add to hit your number. Hold the enter. Now I'm going to lift the weight. Go back up to one. Slowly down to two. Touch the hold button. Done. We're finished. This is use of the forklift scale. We're just powering it on. You lift it to number one with it empty with just the forks, and then slowly back down to two, then hit the zero key. And that tells us we're ready to weigh. Now we got it zeroed out and we're ready to weigh. So the operator's gonna drive into the pallet Drives into the pallet, lifting up to number one, and slowly back down to number two, and there's our weight.